Hey, what's up? It's your boy Rick Tone, and today I'm doing the review of the year so far. It's gonna be the review of Outriders. Um, I completed the game this week. I completed the main campaign. I've done um, a lot of the side missions, and um, I've also delved into the um, expeditions, which is the end game content. All right, so we got a few things we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about gameplay graphics story and replay value all right so let's start with the gameplay all right the gameplay is really good in outriders um it's a mix of somewhat cover based but it really is really misleading it's you don't really use the cover you might use the cover more realistically you're not just hunkered down there and you're invincible you know guys will come right over you and just aim right in your head so it's not really that type of cover based shooter where you're like invulnerable in cover no, this is um a cover can even be destroyed too so now it's really action based it's up in your face um you know all the characters have a healing mechanic a lot of them have to be close so the game kind of forces you for the most part to be very up close in in the action um yeah the gunplay is really good too the guns feel powerful different guns you know feel differently you have your assault rifles and there's different variants you know there's like a pulse type also rifle then you got the spray and play types um they all feel different all feels great the reload mechanic um the sound of the guns is, is really good you get you get really and get in earlier on too um regardless of the um the 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 type of weapon whether it's legendary epic or like a normal common they all feel you know come on it's a gun so I'm glad that they kept that. They're all pretty much powerful. You just add a little bit with the legendaries and all that, but that's really good. Um, moving around is pretty good. You have a decent speed. You don't have a mount, so um, so you don't have like a vehicle or anything like that. Um, um, so you don't really you don't really need that because it's pretty linear. The gameplay is linear. If you just follow the campaign, it tells you exactly where to go. Not too many mysteries. You can go around a beaten path a little bit to get like um to harvest some materials or just um open up some chests or things like that but nothing too crazy pick up maybe a few collectibles but nothing crazy like that so it's pretty linear so if you like that you're gonna definitely love this so you're not caught off guard um then they got world tiers so they got world tiers 1 to 15 with varying difficulties and rewards but for the story you gain experience regardless of world tier so you could if you just want to finish it it's great if you want that challenge it's there so there's something for everybody with the gameplay and then the um the battles you have your regular enemies you know just shoot them down no shields later on some enemies have shields where you can break through but the mechanic that's um, prevalent in outriders is the stun mechanic so you'll face a boss and he'll charge up with a devastating attack but you can interrupt him and then that leaves you um pretty open that leaves him pretty open for you to do some considerable amount of damage so um sometimes you can interrupt and it's kind of uh the little game right there that that you've gotta that you've gotta play um within outriders especially in the higher tiers it's you gotta really work together stun so sometimes it changes your loadout you know stun then you got some immobilize so you know it's really a lot to that um to the gameplay you don't see that coming in you just you kind of see the highlights in like oh it's a pretty cool game but yeah there is some depth to it but it's all about if you want it if you want the rewards or higher chance of rewards then you know you can get that out of the game and the next part uh, under the whole gameplay category um is the um the skill tree it's, it's it's a diverse skill tree there's a there's a ton of stuff you can do um if you're trying to do skill leads weapon leads weapon damage if you're trying to spec into more power so you can be more of a mage type if you want to run it like that or you can be more guns so you can spec into that and you can reset the skill tree anytime which is a huge that's huge in um, a game like this, like an MMO type game. It's huge, so you can you can go into a different battle and literally change your skill tree just to you know try different builds and things like that, which is awesome. Very awesome. And you have a uh, crafting. Crafting in this game is pretty good. It's pretty liberal. It's not the materials needed aren't too intense. I hope they don't nerf that. But um, it's really good where you can craft weapons. You can upgrade rarity. I haven't seen that in the game in a long time. You can get a common weapon and 
upgrade it to legendary so you can add more perks it's really good you really don't have to because there's a bunch of um you'll get like you know several guns that look very similar but but if you want the option is there you know graphics um i would say already is a pretty good looking game um it's not it's not like um it's not like a cyberpunk or a destiny 2 you know those games like look like extremely beautiful you know but um but it's not bad either especially if you got a good monitor it's really not bad i was playing it with the lg monitor 4k monitor it's really good i'm playing it on a um series x so it, re it plays really good the graphics but um but i would say the graphics you know are um are a above average not slightly but above average but um the gameplay um definitely outweighs the, the graphics definitely um and then the next part story um the story in this is surprisingly really good um i usually these games are ready to skip the cutscene but no in this one the the character to, to, help them, to fight the altar down there why didn't you a pathetic monstrosity was a distraction. Or something even more. Altered and Outrider. The last Outrider. Do what you were sent here for. Go beyond the frontier. You feel for them. Usually you don't. Usually they're just blanket NPCs. You just go to them and get whatever you need and leave. But um, like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of thing. But nah, the story is really good. Um. I mean it takes place in the past and then not to give out away too much it takes place in the past then you're kind of taking place in the present in a way or in the future so I'll leave it at that but um no it's it's really good and you're definitely invested and even the side missions whoa the side missions man they really swerve you the side missions are like are really well crafted like you'll you'll think you're just oh go and kill these enemies then the person that sent you there was really the bad guy in the first place and then that just that just throws you for a whole loop it's not nah, it's really good the story the story is 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 top notch in this category this isn't a story of driven game per se but in this category of looter shooters yeah the story is really good and um and then the way it ends there's definitely a room for a lot more a lot more gameplay a lot, lot more secrets like is very open like <laughs> the next dlc could could be anything you know another alien race could come to that planet and just change everything they, they really left it very wide open but at the same time you're invested and you got your your band it's kind of like their show firefly if you ever watch firefly and sci-fi it's kind of like you're the you're the main character but there's a you know a band of um people with you they all got a diverse skill set some of them you agree with some of them you disagree with you don't even see that in a lot of games some of them you even fight in the in the story which is which is really cool that's really um it definitely throws you for a loop and and the biggest thing biggest thing right here p characters do die so you'll be interacting with the character and they might they might die they might go missing and it changes it's so it's uh, and it affects your gameplay because if a character that you go to for certain things goes missing, yeah, they're just missing until you find them back or figure something out. So that's crazy. All right. Um, and then replay value. Um, obviously, with a looter shooter, it has to have a ton of replay value. Um, with the world tiers, there's definitely the built-in challenge. So you can always try to test your skills if you want to go higher. Loot to chase. Um other than these loot caves that people find and people post about that some of them get patched uh, there is a direct line to um to get loot which is world tiers the more um world tiers it goes up and certain missions you have will give legendaries so the replay value is definitely there you finish the story and then you jump on especially with matchmaking you know all those things you can just match make cross play and all that so that's really cool um so yeah the replay value i would i would say is definitely high for 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 a game like this and seeing that the expeditions which are end game aren't something you played in the story they're just curated uh levels it's fit for the expeditions that's kind of cool so it's not like oh hey go save this guy for the million time you know that you did in the story so I, i'm glad that they didn't um they didn't reuse reuse um story elements for end game and um I'm gonna give it a go on uh, on my list the way I rate games 
and give it a no or a go you know sometimes numbers can be ambiguous you know this is definitely a go like people are busy people have no time to waste um so i'm giving this a go man this is a go from rick tone right here definitely try this game there is a demo you know there is also a demo you can you can download that and play it oh it's a your type of game then boom um and i would be remiss not to talk about the um the glitches oh no <laughs> glitches and um server being having issues but the reason why I, i'm leaving that to speak at the end because those can be patched and then you know i kind of i wanted a review to be long lasting so i didn't really talk about glitches and things like that that um are frustrating but they're not universal everybody had a different experience but um it definitely sh didn't ship in the greatest condition but um for the most part and seeing that there's gonna be patches and you know six months from now it you know it'll be fine so the review will will, will be, be what it's all about that's what it's really all about with the core the core things that you um do in this game all right so yeah this one's a go man go out there go out to enoch dive into that story there's a lot of mysteries um and that's my review of outriders